Hi everyone, happy World Ballet Day. I'm Connor Wormsey and I'm a dancer here at the Dutch National Ballet and I will be your host today. So we're currently working on Giselle and as you can see our wonderful principal Olga Smanova is on the poster and we'll get to watch her rehearse with our newest principal Jacopo Tissi. We'll also go upstairs to our in-house atelier and witness a costume fitting on yours truly. And we'll also, if we're lucky, get the chance to have a sneak peek behind the scenes. But first of all, like every day, we've got to go and do ballet class. So follow me. Welcome to Studio One at the Dutch National Ballet. The dancers are currently warming up with class by Ernst Meisner and Olga on the piano. This studio is where all of our important run-throughs happen and a lot of ballet history has gone down in this room. As you can see, they're on their pliers, a very important step to start the day before a full day of rehearsals. But we have to be quiet because And a good finish there on the deck. Thank you, other side, please. Uh. two fours. Into your struts. Double it, open two hips. And a walk. Two slow eights. One. Two. Up and back, please. Rotate back out. Roll and press the floor away. Take it to the other side, please. Back to the time you tempo. Walk. Thank you, Olga. That's super. Double it. Very good. Please, far away. Double it. Nice 
It's a long standing leg as we go on one. Forward from the back of legs. Nice still angles on the demi point. Ten toes, very good. Alright, very good. A little quicker from the fifth two front two. Tandu front, transfer front, transfer back one front, coupe one back, coupe two to the side. Two coupes inside leg, brush side, plie and up. Two close to the back, tandu a transfer back, a transfer front. Back you change one front, you change two to the sides. Two chances in side leg, tandu, plie, tandu. We close into a nice balance with the outside leg in the coup de pied before we go other side. Please two front, transfer front and back, one front coupe, one back coupe. Two tandu side, the coupe is with the inside leg and a tandu side into a plie second, please. Thank you. And transfer front and back. One coup. Two sides. Two coupes. Slow plie. Trying to get that left ankle really still. That's it. Other side. Coop. Big on the One slow to quick. Inside leg does the step. One slow to quick. Say mal as a cont, please. Brush, that's it. Pick up the coup de pied. Coup, pass, coup, inside leg. And up. reverse it all, please. And and. Very nice. Same inside front. Plie brush. Nice, Kira. Coupe to passe. We're turning other side, please. And one. Really use that floor. Floor brush, nice. Toe. Good, Remy. Clear. Nice, everyone. Toe under into the passe. Out, lift heel and calf, excellent. Very nice, quick PKs.
brush, 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 ah, two, two. Nice, Jim. One more time, please. Good first. Suit your new police. Very nice, everyone. Thank you, Olga. Side and forward. Forward. Down. Yeah. Hi, Anne. Hey, How are you? Nice Good. to see you. Yes. Um, so we start every day with a ballet class. That's and right. Can you give us a little bit of information on why we do that? Why we do that? Well, this is really the dancer's moment, I think, in the day where it's their moment to train, to train their bodies for what the day holds. Yes. So that is rehearsal, so they're preparing for that. But also still trying to improve little things. And I always thought it was very nice that in ballet class, there was the hour in the day where nobody was busy with me or I, I could really work on myself. Yeah. It's meditation. At the same Almost. Time. <laughs> okay, well, I'll leave you to it. Thank you. Thanks. Your stretch, please. Thank you everyone, nice work. Good bar, come into the center, please. Good work. Hi, so here we are with our lovely Elizabeth Tenev. She's our newest soloist of the company. Say hello. Hi. So they just finished the bar and now it's a very important time when we get ready for the center. So they're on Adagio now, but I just thought it'd be a good time to check what Ellie has in her bag. Um, okay, so I guess point shoes always with me, um, essential. I'm wearing the Gushko Duvals. Good choice. I like them. Um, lots of elastic bands to stretch doing exercises, um, yes. Well, that's why she's so flexible. That's why I'm so flexible. <laughs> um, massage ball, very, very good. Highly recommend. Um, what else? Lip balm. This I, is not an ad. It's not an ad. I just <laughs> always need it with me. I guess that's it. And hairpins, they're always like loose somewhere in my back. Yeah, that's what you can find in my bag, I guess. <laughs> if anybody wants anything. <laughs> okay, well, thank you, Ellie. Thank you.
Hello, we have the lovely Daniel Silver here. Hello. Um, so Daniel, what, what would you say is your favorite ballet step? My favorite ballet step would be turns, like a coda, grand pirouettes, I love that. He's very good at them. Yeah, I love that so much. Well, maybe we can catch you doing some later. That would be fun, yeah. Hopefully I won't fall. <laughs> I think it's cool. All right. So find the fifth. Lift it in the upper body. Start with your heel and calf. Yes. Change the whole upper body. Good. All right, very nice work, everyone. <laughs> Hello. Happy work, Valerie. And that is lovely. She's from Italy. Yes. I couldn't help noticing your bag is massive. Can you let us yeah. know what's in there? Well, except for 14 pairs of pine shoes. 14. Is that a, yeah. what you use in a day or? No. Well, it depends. It's like the pine shoes that are not completely bad, but they're not also new. And they can be like exchanged okay. towards reversals. And how often do you exchange them? Oh, I think I go through two pairs per week, probably. Wow. Yeah, and then I try to get blue and... Yeah. And what are you wearing for the ballet fans? Oh, I'm wearing for it. <laughs> yeah. And can we see what's in there? Do you want to show us something? My bag, sure. Yes. We have a Pilates ball for warm up. I do a lot of Pilates and gyro tonic for my body to be able to be, you know, in place and feel ready for ballet. Nice. I have a uh, tarot bands also for my feet to warm up and strengthen them. Uh, then I have my flat shoes. They look very small. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm a 37. Okay. <laughs> but they stretch, so you know, like they just look smaller than what it actually is. <laughs> <laughs> and then I have, well, I have my leg warmers that my friend made, and I love them so much. And then I have a massage yeah, gun. Yeah. Massage gun. Uh, which is great, especially now that we're doing Giselle, because you know sometimes the calves get really, really tight, and so this is great just to you know to make sure that they're ready for the day. <laughs> or I do have a book. I always have books around, and I I really like reading because uh, I don't know it helps sometimes to just like switch the mind off. That's and, always good. Uh, I like it a lot, actually. And then I've got many punches, as you can, <laughs> as you can tell. And then I've got like, well, ibuprofen, <laughs> which, you know, it's, it's sometimes you just need it. Then my phone flip-flops to walk around. and It's like the bag from uh, Mary Poppins. Yes, my AirPods. Yes, literally, actually. It's just many punches. And another skirt to exchange. <laughs> I guess like I like to carry around everything to be you like always to be prepared. prepared. I, I like being prepared for anything for to anything, happen. Anything, anything, any kind of ballet, anything. Anything. If I need Should something, I'll come to you. Yes, absolutely. I guess I will have everything here, probably. Well, thank you, Emma. You're very well prepared for your day. <laughs> Enjoy. Thank you. Big tunnel of the Lizard and Brice front. Thank you. And... So 
as you can see, ballet class is in full swing, and I am now joined by our director, Ted Branson. Hi, Connor. Hi, happy World Ballet Day. Thank you, you too. So, we're well into the runs of the Giselle shows now, but we open the season with a more contemporary program. Can you tell us what's coming up for the rest of the season? Oh, lots of different things. Um, first of all, we have Raimonda coming up around Christmas, the big production we did last year, a new, a new version of Raimonda. We bring back Frida from Annabella Obzuchova in uh, February. And then we have a project, it's very exciting, that we do together with the opera, um, with Wayne McGregor. It's a new production, opera combining opera and ballet, called Jocasta's Line. And it has music by Igor Stravinsky, Oedipus Rex, and Sami Musa. So that's going to be a very exciting project. After that, another contemporary quadruple bill with works by Killian for the first time for our company, Hans Vermane, David Dawson, and the creation by Milena Sidorova. So, and then we have more coming up. So it's a busy season. It sounds very full, but very exciting. It is, I think so. Thank you, Ted. Thank you. Ah, 50 50 tour? Well done. Jump to Super So. And to the better sides. All right, all right, sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm gonna stop you for a second so you have space yeah. coming forward. So, ballet class is now over, and as you know, we're well into the runs of Giselle, but I can imagine not all of you at home know the full story. So I'll explain it in this presentation. Hello, and welcome to my presentation, the story of Giselle. So here we have our lovely Giselle. She lives in the village, she's happy as Larry, and she loves to dance, but she's got a very weak heart. And then comes along our little Albrecht. He's a count, but he's actually disguised himself as a villager. Giselle sees Albrecht and falls in love with him. Count Albrecht is actually obligated to marry Bathilde, although he doesn't want to. So he goes to the village to distract himself and there he notices Giselle. Hilarion, a forest warden, is madly in love with Giselle. He's envious of Albrecht dancing with her. He sees and recognizes that Albrecht is not a peasant in the least. Albrecht is actually a count. Then Bathilde arrives at the scene. Giselle sees that Albrecht gives Bathilde a hand kiss, and then she understands that Albrecht is not a peasant, but he's actually engaged to Bathilde, although has sworn eternal loyalty to Giselle. She gasps for breath, her heart's racing. He has lied. She falls down and dies. And that is the end of Act One. And now we move to Act Two, where we meet the wonderful Willies. People think that ghosts live in the forest, the Willies. These ghosts are unmarried women who have men dance all night until it becomes day. If they fail to do so, they die. Giselle's grave is located in the woods. Myrta, the queen of the willies, summons the other willies from their graves. Hilarion visits Giselle in the forest. He's surrounded by the willies and has to keep dancing, but he flees the forest. Albrecht, too, visits the grave. He realizes that he was in love with Giselle all along. Giselle shields Albrecht and dances with him all night. She saves his life in this manner, but she then has to let him go. Albrecht ends with a broken heart. And that is the end of the story of Giselle. So, um, we're back in Studio One and you all know the story of Giselle and Count Albrecht now. And we're actually joined by the stars of the production, Jakob Tissi and Olga Svanova. Hi. 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 So we're going to watch them rehearse soon, but first let's have a little chat about your lives here. Um, Jacopo, you just moved here from another company. How are you settling in? Yes, uh, so far I'm liking it very much. Of course, I arrived not too long ago. It's been many emotions and a big change, but uh, I think uh, I'm having a great time here. And uh, as 
as soon as I arrived, we started working with Olga, with the premiere of Giselle. Uh, so it was a debut in a new version, even though I danced Giselle before, and this was a, a new one from Rachel Bojan and Ricardo Bustamante. So um, it's been many things, but so far I'm, I'm very happy to be here. Uh, everybody's been very welcoming, and as well I'm looking forward to live and discover more. Nice, thank you. And Olga, it's your second um, season with the company. Um, what are you looking forward to this season, actually? I'm really happy with the classical production uh, the first half of the year. I mean, Giselle and Raimonde. Uh, this will be a version of Rashid Bajon. Uh, but also I'm looking forward to collaboration with Wayne McGregor and also probably I will do the ballet of Killian. So I'm really looking forward to rehearsing to do this ballet as well. Nice, exciting. And you guys have actually danced together in other companies. Is it nice to be back here dancing together? How does that feel? Oh, exactly, it's super yes. nice. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, I'm very happy we're uh, again uh, together with Olga. We danced together uh, at the Bolshoi Theatre and lately at La Scala, Rome Opera. We shared a good piece of our artistic path um, which is, of course, uh, unite us a lot, but as well as a friend relationship. So this helps with the connection on stage. We kind of speak on uh, the same language on an artistic way. So I'm very happy. With Jacob, I feel more like I'm at home here. Oh, well, that's very nice. <laughs> well, we're very happy to see that relationship on stage here in Amsterdam. And Olga, um, you're an inspiration to so many young dancers around the world. What inspires you, actually? Um, I think nowadays we can look at um, so many dancers through internet, on Instagram, Facebook. Uh, so I'm always following uh, the great dancers of our times. Um, and I think they also kind of inspiration for me. Cool, thank you. <laughs> and how would your daily routine look like? I think a daily routine is pretty basic, like uh, for dancers, is wake up, breakfast, go to the theater. Um, of course, it starts with class. Class is the time where we settle ourselves. Uh, we settle the body and the mind ready for all the day, for the rehearsals, for the repertoire. Of course, if it's a day show, it's totally different. But yes, usually, and then it's the different rehearsals during the days. And uh, yeah, after it's recover, other some extra exercise, and then a good rest, good I just, dinner. I just wanted to emphasize that we have really a wonderful health team. Yes. Uh, who helps us to recover. We have brilliant uh, Pilates teacher and uh, physicians. So it's really uh, helpful for artists to, to dance yes. here. It's a big supplement that the body can have like to get ready and to keep uh, fit, yeah. Well, thank you for that. I'll let you get on with your rehearsal. Thank you. And speak thank soon. You. Yeah, <laughs> see you.
Okay, guys, let's stop. Let's stop. Thank you. Wonderful. Um, I was always thinking that Albrecht could be a little bit aloof in the beginning because uh, you don't expect her, uh, you know, you, can, you know what's going to happen, basically. So w after she's turned away, I think you already know that when you touch her, she's going to go away. And then I should see in your, in your face form another idea to go, okay, let's go next level. And then even this doesn't surprise you, you know, you wait for her and then you know you're going to stop her. So it can have that little bit of... Uh, audacity. Yes, yeah, so it's not on the same level as her, but it's actually you're always ahead of it. Mm -hmm. You know, even when she goes to the house, you can actually, you know she's going to go away, say, come on, it's let's go, you know. I wouldn't say it's sarcastic because it's not the word, but you are above the situation, sort of, not on the same yes. level as her search. Maybe we can try that. Uh-huh, exactly. Yes. Exactly. Mm hmm. Okay, guys, could you make that a little earlier so you have more time to do, I'm sitting, you know, nothing the matter, before you have to ask her, because yes. that's a bit too dense. You could do it on the glee set if you go, first she's looking away, right, Olga? You were looking away. So Jacopo, if, if she's looking away, you already think of a plan. Soon as you catch her face, point at the same time so and she can go. Because if you wait to step out, it takes that whole extra count and it takes away from the fun part, you know what I mean? Let's try from the door. And just make sure when she looks at you, you go, go sit. That's right. What about me? Good.
um, dynamically. If you can, the first balloté, let's say, do as you do. The second one, go bigger, 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 bigger. So this tom de bay comes out like a joyous moment, you know, because it's always hard, I find, first ton levé in this scene. It's like, you know what I mean? So if it comes out of this abundance of joy, you have to hold yourself back, and then you say, oh, can I have another kiss? Can we just try that to build it from this balloté step? Um. Wonderful. That's it. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. You have somewhere to go. Good, guys. So let us go to the second act, maybe. Uh, Olga, we're going to go from her adagio. And guys, sorry, when you've done the promenade and you're facing her, right, she's out, you bring her back, maybe you go. Uh, more like So she direction. can go, because I think yes, you were both doing the same side, you know. And that's why. And if you go on the other side of her face, like uh-huh, then we see her, yes. Right, because that port de bras can continue into back, you know, doesn't... Mm -hmm. So you go upstage and she go downstage, I think. Mm -hmm. That lifts were good. Should we go on from the lifts?
good. Let's go on. Okay. Okay. I think that's a little bit slower with the orchestra, yes. the lifts. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, guys, can we can we go back to this? So, at some point, could you beg? Maybe not there if you don't want, but like maybe earlier in the adagio one time, because if you never beg, we don't know what you're saying, you know. Or even maybe here before you. Go out of the hands, bum, bum, to Myrta. Yeah, one of the moments. Um, so when you do this step, right? Yes. Maybe, could you, I know this oh, probably in the costume easier. Could mm -hmm. you hold her maybe a little bit lower so she can come a bit more back? Because mm -hmm. I think at the moment it's quite high. Uh, yeah, I'm so she's like trying, <laughs> yeah. This part. If it's possible, yes. maybe even the, just the right hand. I don't know how you have to do that, but yeah, so that she can. That yeah. Can be lower for sure. Yeah. Let's try from here, please. Thank you. Thank you very much, guys. Very good. So I hope you all enjoyed that. Um, we're now joined by Rochelle Bajon. Um, thank you so much for letting us watch that. It was so nice to see. Thank you. Yeah, it's always very uh, exposed for camera, but uh, after a minute or so, we got into it like it was a normal rehearsal. Nice. Can you explain to us what we just saw? Well, we started with the um, opening scene of the ballet where uh, Giselle and Albrecht meet. And um, they've met before because he's come to the village more often. And we see the romance blooming. That was the first part. And in the second part, um, it was the adagio of the second act where she's already um, in another dimension, let's say. Um, she's dead. She died in the first act and comes back uh, to save Albrecht from being uh, danced uh, through the night and killed because of exhaustion by uh, the queen of the Willys, uh, Queen Myrta, and, and her followers. It's originally choreographed by Marius Petipa, who obviously did um, Swan Lake, Sleeping Beauty, and of course Raimonda. Could you say what makes it different to those ballets? Well, we call this in ballet world um, the Hamlet of the, the ballets. Um, it's, it's a story about people, about humans, um, whereas 
like in Swan Lake, it's about the swan and Sleeping Beauty, it's about this princess. And these are actually uh, regular people who go through a love story. And so I think it's more a play than a ballet. Nice. So We Dance, your version that you created with Ricardo Bustamante, and can you say what you focused on changing or what makes yours different? Yes, um, it's difficult with classical ballet nowadays to um, make it accessible for the audiences now because I think the speed of the internet is, you know, so fast and um, to stick to the tempo of the old days when the ballets were made might be nice for bunheads like me, <laughs> but I think um, we want to connect. And so, for instance, in those days, um, I'm talking now in the 1800s, men were mostly porteurs, like they were carrying the women, they were partners. Mm. And uh, already Rudolf Nureyev changed that by making the, the man also dance. But we added a variation for Albrecht in the first act, because. We thought it was really strange that she does all the dancing and, and he doesn't join her, so they wouldn't be on the same level. Mm -hmm. um, also because in our version, uh, Albrecht, even though he knows, he knows with his head that he cannot be with her because he's, from, he's, he's already um, uh, engaged to Bathilde um, and he's from an aristocratic family, he could never marry a peasant girl. But, you know, in life, sometimes you're in denial because you're so in love and you think, I'm just going to make it work. And you forget about your duties. And in our production, Albrecht is really in love with her. So he's not toying with her, like some interpretations. And the reason why we thought of that was because if you make such a dramatic ballet as it is, where in the second act, her spirit uh, forgives him even though she's in another dimension, she's dead, so love uh, over, overcomes even death. Then if it's such a dramatic story, there's had to be pure love. Otherwise, if he was just toying with her, that, doesn't, that wouldn't fit. So it's really about real love. And um, like I said, also the men, like we have the wine stomp boys who do very difficult stuff actually in the harvest dance so that's added by repeating the music in the harvest dance okay. and um, yeah that was a whole musical research with Boris Grutzin who was the conductor in our uh, first premiere in 2009. Well it's really nice to hear your say on your version it's it's a joy to dance what can I say <laughs> <laughs> um, and also with Olga and Jacopo um, how is it working with them it's so nice to see you all in the studio. Well you know, they are both, first of all, technically, there's no problems anywhere. And, um, and they're very sensitive artists, both of them. And very sensitive, very nice people. So it feels like a dream. And what's different from them, because I, you know, I haven't worked with them one-on-one, -on -one, especially Jacopo, when he arrived the 2nd of October. Mm. Um, but I feel that everything we talk about, because we discuss things rather than me telling them what to do, because they've had such an experience, they've had danced both four versions of Giselle, and um, you know they have such good education and such luggage, baggage, all that. Um, I feel very honored to work with them and. Uh, I'm surprised at how much they want to hear from me and want to learn and want to know and how much they actually apply. Uh, so yeah, that's what I mean. They're very sensitive artists. It's wonderful. Cool. Well, thanks again. It's been so nice to talk to you about this, your production. Right now I have to go and check if there's any dancers in the gym to carry on this World Ballet Day. Okay. But good luck. <laughs>
We have an amazing health team here, which guide us through exercises. As you can see, everyone's doing little different things and it's all to keep the body in check. We have a few motivational quotes here when times get tough. Here's Joey, a fantastic soloist. How do you keep the body in shape and healthy, Joey? Um, well, we, like you said, we have a fantastic health team here and they give us a wide range of exercises for us to do and build different plans that are personal to each dancer and each individual. So I try to maintain that and I try to come to the gym and do class as much as possible. I see you here a lot. Yes, yes, I try to be here as much as possible. <laughs> So as you can see, we have a lot of lovely equipment. We're very lucky. A lot of Pilates machines. Actually, Olga, our principal, Giselle, is currently on one of them. And our lovely Hilarion, who you will see later in the performance, he's currently on the floor. Um, also a valid exercise. So here we have Olga, who will be our Giselle tonight. Um, but first of all, you've got to follow me to a costume fitting upstairs in our atelier. So here we are in our in-house atelier, where a lot of the costumes are made for all of the productions here at Dutch National Ballet. And we're joined by our lovely Saskia, who will do a costume fitting with us today. How are you? Good, yourself? Yeah, good. Nice. Well, follow me into the room where it all happens. There's a lot of different costumes here for different productions. Here we have the Yachtmeister, the Master of the Hunt, which I'll be fitting today. But yeah, there's, there's Raymonda, there's, there's lots in here. So, if you could, I don't know, um, what is this? We start with the little shirts, and uh, this is like a half shirt, which gives you the option to fit a lot of different people in here. Cool. Because we only see a little bit of it, we just see the, the collar and just a little bit in front, so we don't need the whole thing. Nice. And this production was actually made in 2009 when it premiered. How do you keep the costumes in good shape, maintain them? Um, we renew some bits. We renew the, the bits that with lycra, tights and stuff, because mm -hmm. that goes after a while. Um, we have lots of tricks in there, <laughs> elastics to pull, um, some bits are not really costume like the, the shirt or in the jacket we don't have a whole vest, we just have the little fake bit. Oh yeah. um, so that makes it very versatile so you can uh, fit lots of people in there. There's some trickery. Yeah, there is. <laughs> it's theatre. <laughs> <laughs> and there's, um, well it gets clean in between. So um, on this costume there's not a lot of wear because there's not really any dancing in it. Um, and on other costumes we just... Um, we new bits, we get, we make new parts, and uh, and I guess that's how when the sharing costumes comes in because dancers have to share so many different roles. I guess it needs to be adjustable. Yeah, so um, we'll see when we get to the the jacket. I can show like this that um, on Connor, this is the right length, I guess, but we have tricks here, so that comes off and that can be popped on in different spots. So if your arm's a little bit shorter you can get your cuff higher up. So this makes it very um, easy for people to share. It's just up to the dressers that they have to know who's wearing it that night to get stuff in place. Ah, and now My we missed the cuff. Very <laughs> <different> today. <laughs> I like this costume, it's fun. Yeah, it's pretty. It makes you feel very like a different person. I feel like the master of the hunt right now. I'm done. Yeah. <laughs> the hunt master. What do we think? Is a belly needed? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. I don't think you need it. And I, yeah, it fits really nicely on the shoulders, so I'm quite happy with the fit. So that was your master of the hunt. Um, we also have your farmer's costume here, but you've already fitted that because you're wearing that tonight, so we'll just leave that for now. Okay. Yeah. So 
So how is that for you, Connor? Yeah, I think it fits very well. Um, why is it so important that the costumes fit so precisely? Well, you're not just walking around looking pretty. You have to be able to move as well. Can you try it? Mm -hmm. lift, your, lift your arms. Is there enough movement for you if you have to do? I this think stuff? so. I don't actually have to do much movement in this role. Okay. It's quite static, but. Well, I you have your little so. bits of lycra in there. You see, you have your lycra there, which gives you extra stretch, and lycra there in the side seems that if you breathe in well, or move for forwards, you well, get yeah. extra stretch. So that should give you enough freedom of movement. Yeah, I think it will work pretty well. Okay. <laughs> okay, I guess we're done with the hands. Yep, as far as I'm concerned, you're good to go. Thank you. Hey, it's nearly curtain up for tonight's show of Giselle. I'm just doing the final touches on my makeup to make sure I look pretty to go on stage. And then I will show you how my colleagues prepare for their show. But first of all, I need to put on my costume. So if you'd please get out. So everybody's getting ready to start the performance now. The tension's rising. And I'm going to introduce you to our lovely wardrobe master, Andre. Oh, oh hey, Connor. Hey, um, <laughs> what are you doing? You're with the veils here. I'm just making sure that like, you know, all, all of the pins are ready and they're ready for the girls to come and put them on nice. and just go on stage. Could you show us some of those famous Willy's costumes? Sure, let's walk. Because This way. The, the girls share ca costumes, right? Because there's yes, multiple casts. Yes, because we have a multiple cast. It's like, you know, four casts and we have a different people sharing the same costume. Okay. So some people, some people, you know, like it to have their own, but some people share. And how do you go about cleaning them? Um, well, at the end of the day, we just collect them from the dress rooms and then we use a lot of vodka. Okay. Hey, we just spray some vodka and then, like, you know, if it's really necessary, uh, we use a zone box and uh, we just, like, you know, kill the bacteria. Thank you. I didn't even know that was possible. Yeah, you're welcome. Anytime, Connor. Okay, well... You know where to find me. Yes, I will. <laughs> uh, let's go check out what my colleagues are up to. So, here we have our lovely Honey. She's actually my partner for a small section of the first act tonight. Um, she's one of our newest members of the company. She's in the junior company, where a lot of us have been. We've all been through the junior, actually. And how are you finding it? How is it? Um, it's it's going well. Um, now we're working with the main company in the pro production of Giselle. We get to, though it's our own second company, we get to work a lot with them and it's really inspiring being able to, you know, do everything um, with the main company, but then also have our own production that we get to work on and we also tour with it, which is really fun. It's been nice because um, it is my first year, but it feels like you're you integrating. Know? Yeah. And it's nice to have yeah. experience with like the main on stage, you get a bit more comfortable. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Do you feel good? Yeah, <laughs> doing like core work, it's also something I've never really done before too. So it's nice to get a little glimpse of that and work with everyone before, yeah. Well, we're very happy to have her. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So here I am with our lovely Ariana Maldini and she's currently getting ready to do a premiere of Padacatra in Giselle. So yes. please wish her a big toy toy from wherever you are. How are you feeling? How do you prepare for that? Good. I mean just doing a bit of warm up, being very concentrated and that's all I mean. Like just focusing on the role and that's it. Cool. Yeah, I just want to be the best as I can. I'm sure you will be. But yes, I will. Well, lovely to speak to you. Thank you. I'll see if there's anyone else who's preparing for anything. Um, Semsky, how are you feeling about your Padakat? It's your premiere, no? I'm excited, actually. Nice. Yeah. Sem Schauke. Um, yes. <laughs> I'm excited, a bit nervous, but, but good. Um, cool. You feel you prepped? Know. 
preps, warming up, doing some jumps, you know. But they're always good to do. Feeling the stage. Right. You know? <laughs> Let's do it together. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Well, I better go because I'm a farmer tonight. Good. Okay. Get ready. Well, good luck. Make Take sure you're warm too. Thank you. <laughs> So now I officially need to go backstage and get ready to do the show. As you can see, everybody has left, so I better too. But thank you for watching. Happy World Ballet Day.